So it is a testament to LeBron James and the power of the playoff game winner that even though we've seen him do this time and time and time again, it doesn't get old. And look, we still take plenty of other stuff about LeBron for granted, like his Teflon health or his maturity off the court. But there is something about a ball going through a hoop with the clock counting down and not just a single game, but so much more on the line that is flat out exhilarating. And while there are some in the media who've made a name for themselves trying to claim otherwise, the fact is LeBron has been doing this for a long time. Allow me to take you back all the way to 2006. Game three versus the Wizards. Cavs were down by one here and LeBron does this. Yep, but oh no, LeBron not done torturing Washington in that series. In game five, the Cavs were down by one again. And again, well, listen. About James, LeBron to the hoop for the win. He oh, got it. Lord. It's over. The Cavaliers have won it. You can book this one to the Cavaliers. And then in 2007, well, you remember this game, right? When the Cavs were trying to get past the immovable object that was the Detroit Pistons. LeBron scored 29 of Cleveland's final 30 points, capped off by, of course, the game winner in overtime. I remember standing about 30 feet from him when he hit that shot. And what was amazing was that he barely reacted to it. He was almost transfixed by the zone he was in. But trust me, everyone else was yelling plenty. Fast forward to 2009, the conference finals against the Magic. The Cavs were down by two in this one with only one second left on the clock. And it felt pretty certain that the Cavaliers would board the plane to Orlando in an 0-2 hole in the series. And yet, LeBron James. Lewis gets it to LeBron for three for the win. Yes! LeBron James at the buzzer as the Cavaliers <laughs> Stay in Van's face, right? Amazing. And he would keep doing it. Here he is in 2013, again in the Eastern Conference Finals, again when his team was down on the scoreboard, this time in overtime, and here he comes. Battier gets it in. Here's James on the drive for the win! More recently, we have the Great Chicago Bulls incident of 2015. I know Scotty Pippen here knows what I'm talking about because that is the game when then coach David Blatt tried to take a timeout he didn't have. And then with the game on the line in the final seconds, Blatt tried to draw up a play in the huddle for someone else. LeBron would later announce in the press conference, quote, I scratched it. And apparently for good reason, because this is what he did instead. 1.5 remaining. James. For the win, it's gone! LeBron James at the buzzer! Stuns the Chicago Bulls and the series is tied at two games apiece. Which leads us to last night. There had already been two controversial plays in the game's final 30 seconds, each one leaving each fan base fuming. But with less than three seconds to go, LeBron rendered it all moot by doing this. Cleveland triggers in. James, two seconds, one second for the win! Oh! Cleveland. Poor Miles Turner, yeah, by the way. That wow. face is going to live on the internet forever. And if that shot is suddenly giving you deja vu, it's because, yes, it is the same shot, basically, that you just saw from the Orlando series. Pretty much the same spot, which is, I don't know, pretty cool. Um, and, oh, also, there is this little fun fact. That shot from last night, it did not just put the Cavs in control of the series or allow an entire city a sigh of relief as it puts off the LeBron free agency discussion for a little while longer. It moved LeBron past Michael Jordan for postseason go-ahead shots in a game's final five seconds. LeBron has now shot more of those and at a higher shooting percentage than MJ. It's almost like he's, well, clutch or something. No wonder it doesn't get old. So Tracy, before he hit that shot last night, he had missed his previous three shots. Correct. He had gone 0 for 8 on three-pointers right. in games 4 and 5. So I know you expected him to take that shot. It was going to go to LeBron. Did you expect him to make that shot? I expected him to make the shot. You did. Reason, reason being, let me take you back. I was upset at LeBron. The, the previous play, mm -hmm. 
he drove the ball to the basket, got under the basket, and was looking to pass this ball, Pip, right here. Look, this is game winning. Exactly, exactly. He's looking to pass the ball to who? JR in the corner, who is 0 for 8 mm. on the night. Like, why are you looking to pass this ball to JR? So I'm like, yo, you got another opportunity to really make up for that mistake. And he did just that. So, yeah, I expect the LeBron to make the shot. And, and I mean, he's that's an easy shot for him. For a right hand, no, listen. <laughs> For a right-hander <laughs> dribbling the ball left mm -hmm. for a pull-up, that's what we're most comfortable with, and that, that looked easy to him. It did, and I thought he got good spacing, but mm -hmm. I, I felt like he was due. I felt like throughout the game he really tortured Indiana's defense by taking the ball to the basket, mm -hmm. getting yeah. a lot of fouls, getting to the free throw line. So he was in rhythm to shoot the ball, even though he didn't shoot the ball a lot throughout Danny. the game. Yeah. And in, in that shot, I run mean, this one more time. The There's no pressure that he needed. But Danny, run, please run yes. run this one more time and let the people see yeah. this. By there, the way, there's no had pressure. Foul to yeah. give on this. I know they had to foul to give. I didn't feel like that they had no pressure, pressure on the ball. He didn't, he didn't touch LeBron not one time on a game winning yeah. shot. That is an easy shot. Well, this is this Indiana team. Look, they are scrappy. They are overachievers. They have done things that nobody outside of Indianapolis probably thought they would be able to do this year, and it's a great credit to them. All of those things can be true, and them not being the most experienced, most exactly. talented team true. in the playoffs. This is kind of what you would expect from them. They've made sort of beginner's mistakes throughout this series, and it is why Cleveland is still favored to win, even though they are not yeah. the strongest team either. That's right? the one thing. You, you shouldn't have let LeBron touch the ball right there. <laughs> <laughs> and if you are, I mean, please touch him. Don't be scared of him. Apply pressure.